So I'm just going to record the session with Daniel presenting here, um, task and mood board for assessment task number one, um, subject design skills 1577. Uh, so I'm just quickly going to share the screen. And okay, can you see it, guys, now? Yes. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, Daniel, you ready? Uh, yeah, just, <laughs> I was looking at the screen, I was like, oh, this is different. Um, yeah, okay, I'm ready. Okay, go on. Okay, so for this assessment task, we were asked to make two mood boards for, uh, for our client who is in a penthouse in, in a city apartment. So... They were asking for a minimal contemporary version of a, like an era between 1800 to 1900. And I chose Tuscan for that era. And then, so for Tuscan, um, for this kind of period, there it's more the mood I was going for was like calm and like maybe a little bit like holiday, holiday kind of calm. Like you just want to feel um, light and airy. So I used um, earthy tones. Oh, I'm not comfortable sitting like this. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, I've, shown a, a lot of like wood and stone in 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 Tuscan so um yeah so the lamp is metal I think it's actually ceramic but um so yeah because um it's all I don't know um oh, I pressed a button and something went with my screen um, something happened to my screen. <laughs> well, um, just try to press control tab and uh, you will see the, all the applications. Is it working for you? Nope. <laughs> uh, oh, wait a minute. Um, <laughs> just my moment. Oh, my luck. Something dodgy would happen with my laptop. Um, okay, so my Tuscany mood board is going with a calm Italian a luxurious kind of feel uh, by using the warm earth tones um, like yellow and grey as well as the wood. I'm able to bring in those that earthy kind of vibe and then um, also like, Ital like the Italian feel so like a holiday kind of feel as well. Um, uh, yeah, so that's during the 1800s. Um, okay. So are you ready for the next one? Uh, yeah. So you have your references here, good. Yeah, my references. Okay. And that's your brutalism mood board. Yeah, my brutalism. So, okay. Uh, I chose brutalism as the um, the nineteen uh, what was it nineteen hundreds to two thousand because it's mid century, so it's got a bit of a bit of a um more more modern than the Tuscan feel, but um, also it's a bit arty. But um, so there's a lot of metals and wood and um, there's also like uh, cement, so very raw materials. And um, But I didn't want to make it so that the um, mood board was like harsh in a way I wanted to make um take more focus on the 
more luxurious kind of vibe because it is a penthouse so I don't want it to be like um like as if it was a townhouse or like you know if it was in like the suburbs like it needs to be more um I don't know what you'd call it maybe like yeah definitely more luxurious than is if I was going to go for cement with this um style because um so i've chosen the silver and gold kind of feel so like def more metals and yeah so this i wanted to make sure that there was um softness as well so def instead of having like uh like a hard couch it's like it's m like metal and as well as like fabric as well like so cushions so it, it still looks like you want to sit on it instead of like being like yeah no I don't really want to <laughs> so it's um like, yeah um my words aren't working today for some reason <laughs> okay. um it's very structural and arty um so in contrast to the Tuscan which is more like calm and like hot like more of like a holiday vibe so this one's more of like, so they're two, on very two different spectrums, but still in, I wanted to give the client a choice between two different ideas being like super fancy and arty and lots of like metallics um, versus soft pastel colors and mm, like wood and stone versus metal and wood um, because yeah um. <coughs> uh, yeah so um, I've shown like two different kinds of lamps this one's made of wood whereas this one's made of metal so I have given um, like the client a lot of ideas and variety as while sticking with like her idea for her or his wait is it a female or a male her or his um um needs for it being uh, in a certain time but being more modernized and so they have like they have a choice um yeah okay. um, Okay, so, um, and you have your references as well, and that's your speech, okay, and you have your digital folder, all good. Now, guys, uh, yeah. since you're uh, online, I would like you to comment on the mood board. So, Vesna, um, we also got the Lauren. <coughs> If you want to, um, please comment. Yeah, I really liked your idea. I loved all the colouring and I like the way that you set it all out. It's very clear. It's not, um, it's not all jumbled and hard to read, so I really like it. Oh, thank you. I thought I totally messed that up. <laughs> okay. I can understand it. Yes, do you have anything to say? No, I really like it as well. It's very clean and <clears throat> calm. Um, I like the use of the rocks. I think that Tuscan mostly speaks about um, natural tones and materials like stones and rocks and exposed things and rafters and floors. Are, and the colours are quite nice. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's, a, a, it's a really nice mood board. Very calm. Like you said, yeah, I don't see a lot of uh, holiday feel apart from the window and the beach outside, but... Yeah, it does get that earthly feel of it. Very good. Um, what about the second mood board, guys? What do you think about this brutalism uh, style? Have you heard about it? Yeah, I'm just amazed that she found such beautiful interior images for brutalism. I mean, brutalism is, is quite different to the, especially in the architecture, but uh, even in, inside, but yes, you must have found the most beautiful brutalistic interior design features I've ever seen. It's more popular in architecture than interior design, I would say. 
Yes. Yeah. It's very different to actual. If you have a look at the buildings, that this furniture is quite different to to it. Um, yeah, so I'm actually intrigued. I, the, I'd like to see her reference and just to have a look at where she found these images. Yeah, I've, I found a few um, artists who, or like, you know, designers who, um, from the mid-century, like, who were, like, they, did, they didn't just do, um, like, um, buildings and stuff, like, but they actually made stuff for inside, like, the de decor for inside the buildings that they created as well for their clients. Yeah, that's clever. Yeah. Yeah, that was a um, really good find, Daniel. And I think um, the images you found are pretty good. I think what's missing on this particular board is we don't see too many textures. And that would be only one wishful thinking for me here. And um, it, it's real good that you put your color swatches in here. But I would love to see the actual, you know, maybe fabrics, materials, you know, floorboards, um, how you would address it in, in that particular style and how you put them together. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like I did for the first one. Like you did for the first one, yes. Yeah. So uh, for the first one, at least, we, we can imagine the, um, the space itself without actually styling it. Um, so... Yeah. If we see, if we see here that the, the you know uh, the mood you're portraying without actually furnishing and styling it, it's very important because you know styling is the last process in your interior design um, steps, and um, most importantly to get the box right, if it makes sense, walls and windows and um, you know all that surrounding first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good work, Daniel, for your first assessment. Um, so, yes, you need to progress to the next one. And um, yeah. do you have any questions about it? The second one? Yes. Yeah. Um, no, I think I talked to you about it the other day when you called me. Mm -hmm. And um, so I have started on it. I just need to do a few more thumbnails, um, some, like, smaller sketches of some ideas, and then I need to do you want me to like um so i send them to you and yes. then you want me to send them to other students what you or? can do, you can uh publish it on, on e-portfolio and you can share it with other students so um in in the blog so basically just do your search and for the blog number or you can even share with the students um who participated in the zoom sessions as well so they can comment on it but I will definitely comment on it as soon as you put it on. Cool. Um, can I ask, like, um, people, like, in my, in my life at the moment, like, friends and family and stuff? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, you can ask them and you can also uh, place the feedback you receive um, all together with your sketches. Okay, yep. Okay. So, like, I'll have... So with my sketches, do you want me to write next to them like a little thing, like what I like about it, and then like a, the next little, like write another little few sentences about like what other people thought about it, good yes. and bad and stuff? Yes. Okay. Keep, keep it and then I choose the one. Yeah, keep, keep it as a sketch journal um, task. Um, and, okay. And then I'll comment on it, and um, then you'll make a decision which one you want to go with. And then do different points of view on the one that I do up. Okay, yes. And then make it. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Guys, any more questions? No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Um, with the, uh, Lauren, at what stage are you now at the moment? Uh, I'm up to the second uh, the second assessment in the module that you sent me. Mm -hmm. So I've just finished drawing the um the rendered drawing of the kitchen. I still need to paint it. I need to get good watercolors. Mm -hmm. But I finished the rendered drawing, and I'm just working my way through the rest of the questions. 
So uh, you need to use SketchUp. Are you using SketchUp? Okay. Right. Are you using SketchUp or not? No, I did it by hand because my computer wasn't working. It's, yeah. But I'll try to download it and see if it'll work. Okay, I will still accept the hand-drawn um, assessment for the second subject, 1578. And yeah. for the second assessment, as I said, but meanwhile, you need to sort out your SketchUp uh, skills because um, this is the uh, software we'll be using from now on, okay? And it will be much easier for you to use SketchUp and complete that assessment than you draw it by hand. My computer's gone weird. Hello. Lauren, you can't hear me, can you? Lauren, I lost you. Okay. Um, any more questions, guys? Okay, it's working now. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's working, okay. Sorry, it just shut down. <laughs> it's okay. Lauren, do you have a license for SketchUp? Uh, no, how much is it? Um, we supply the license to you guys. Um, I've been waiting for that from the um, manager, uh, but yeah. she can speak lately. What I can do... Okay. I can just email to you the license at the moment, which I have free, okay? Yeah. Yeah. You, um, yeah. Um, would you, can you send that to me as well? Because um, I do have it on my computer, but it's, you know, I only had the free month subscription thing. Like, because you get a free month subscription. Yes, you, you have a free one um, su subscription for 30 days. But, Danielle, you don't need it till you start the second subject. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, and because... But don't I, I need it to do the kitchen? Sorry? Do I need it to do the kitchen? No, you would need it for the, the second subject. So, as soon as you finish 1577, um, the next subject will be 1578. And then I will send you the license because it's only last a year. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. So, yes. Lauren, so we'll sort it out with you, okay? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? Vesna, are you all right with the SketchUp license? I've got a professional one that I'll use already, so I'm fine with it. I'll just be using mine. Very good. Okay. Any more questions, guys? No, good. I'm no. good. Okay. So I'm looking forward to your assessments. And uh, if you have any qu questions or problems, just uh, email to me. I'll be happy to call you and set up the online session with you if you want me to. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so don't hesitate doing that. And also you can reply to my SMS as well. And I will receive your reply and address it within 24 hours. Okay? Sounds good. So enjoy the warm weather. Um, enjoy the weekend and don't forget your assessments. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll see you next week then. See you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. Bye.